like, all right, okay. So what is it? This is a Lexus SC400. Wait a minute. I know I don't know much, but that doesn't seem right. Hmm. So it's not uncommon for like real wild things to pull up at the shop. And sometimes it's people that actually want some machine work done. And sometimes it's people that want to show off what they built with the machine work that was already done in the shop. And sometimes it's just people that I think Google machine shop her auto shop and then just pull up and are like, hey, you want to check this out? So I decided maybe I should start recording those videos when people are willing and then share a series of check out what rolled into the shop today. So first up is a Model A hot rod and that's actually underneath is a Lexus SC400. I guess for all of the suspension and an LS drivetrain with I think he's going for like a fake flathead look. Anyway, this guy was cool, and he was happy to talk about it, so here you go. And it's got the 400 rear end in it. And then you can see it's nine inches wider from the whole main panel. And I'd have put some killer candy paint on it, but I figured I'll wait till the war's over with. You know? And so it's uh, 50 cal machine gun bullet rails, titanium aircraft hold downs for the aircraft carriers, for the airplanes. Just built back in stainless. You know. All yourself? Yeah, yeah, all homemade, of course. I weighed every part when I made it. It drives like a dream. The Lexus sold for forty-five grand in '93. That's what it is. Yeah. The vet sold for thirty thousand, so they were fifteen thousand over the cost of the vet. So it really does handle and drive <laughs> like a vet. And if you see the fake front rank frame rails, those are supposed to be twenty-four inches wide. Yeah. You can see they're only what they're about thirty or twenty-eight. I don't know. And this is all, you made all this from scratch, yeah, huh? Everything's scratch, yeah. Sway bars and all, yeah. But I did get the Lexus front end in it, and I'm glad I did, because it's pretty wide in the butt. And you didn't go with the Lexus powertrain, because... I wanted to, but, you know, two distributors, I wasn't sure on an ECU. Yeah. It hung out the back, and the wiring takes up three boxes. And so I didn't, I should have just deleted everything off and bought a standalone, I could have, I'd have been all right. That is so I'm killer. I'm looking for one LS cover, for a motor cover for this side. And it's got three shark fins right here. And then I want matching covers. I have one. I want matching covers on both sides. Carburetor's getting eight, kicked out, and I'm going to go EFI pretty soon. She's all set up for it. I got two gas tanks, 34 gallons. One in the back inside, and one in the back outside. Is the interior all, all done too? No, no, but sort of. I got a love seat in the back and beamer seats. Oh, if you man. see the trays for the floorboard, they pop out, and there's another 10 inches. My floorboard's all the way down here. You can see I drive it every day and don't finish it, clean it, but I will. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I will. No, I'll put killer candy paint on it. It's real straight and shreddy. Well, thanks for letting me take a look, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> see you guys later.